What's up YouTube? This is the Wisco Border Channel. My name is Chad. I'm standing at the back of my car because I have two pieces of King Starboard that I'm going to use to make cabinet doors above the refrigerator and galley stove and the boat. We're going to replace these old corrugated wood, in my opinion, eh, outdated, nasty looking sliding doors. And we're just going to put uh, cabinet doors to replace those. They're gonna open up bottom to top and look much nicer. These are uh, kind of a light gray color that will match the interior the way we've done it so far very nicely. They are not cut to shape, they are oversized. Uh, I found these at a place called Kendor Marine in Franklin, Wisconsin. A fan fantastic store that has pretty much anything you would ever need uh, to restore a boat or fix something on an older boat. Um, they just they have a great selection of all kinds of different materials, parts, pieces. Um, so if you're ever in the area, south side of Milwaukee, Franklin, beautiful little town, uh, Kendo Marine, awesome. They don't pay me to say that. I just think it's a great store. So I'm going to get these out and uh, start measuring to get them cut to the correct size. And uh, we're going to make some new cabinet doors. All right, so I've got the uh, baseline here laid out at uh, 17 inches. I need 17 inches in height for this door. This... Uh, this piece, as you can see, is not square. Uh, it was probably a swim platform or something like that, judging by the, the two holes back here, probably was made for some sort of bracket tree to go underneath and be supported by the transom. But since it's not square, um, I think what I'm going to do is use, uh, I, need to be, I need to have a 17 by 22 inch piece. And um, I th think that I will have enough room to use 22 inches at the bottom with a taper up that way and a taper up that way. If they don't fit, I will just cut it square, but I'm gonna try it with the angles first. We'll get the uh, angle finder out, figure out what this angle is here, and I'll transfer that over here, draw my line there, and uh, I'm gonna at least cut this part off so that I can use this radius to, um, to mark this radius here, this radius here, and that one up there. Okay, my first cut line is marked, as I said. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece off, and that piece, and uh, round the edges. Might as well go ahead and just route it and uh, make it look nice. That's super easy to do. And then we'll take it up to the boat and see if it fits. Got my router set up and we're gonna cut uh, we're gonna round the edges on both sides of this piece of King starboard which by the way I mentioned this in another video where I'm making a, a gate for the cockpit I learned about this stuff from Marty Zoffinger uh, who has a very interesting channel on YouTube a lot of kayak fishing uh, but he is currently sort of currently doing the great loop in the Chris craft 310 and uh, it's a super interesting channel. So if you haven't uh, checked that out, do that. You'll enjoy it, I think. Um, he's got a lot of great ideas. And because of him, I am aware of this product, King Starboard, and it comes in handy. It's great stuff. All right, as usual, time to make a mess with the router.
here's the rough cut. I'm um, gonna do a little, just a tiny little bit of, of uh, sanding just to knock off the, the little uh, strands of, of plastic left behind, but this turned out really nice. Going around the edges, it's, uh, it's got a little bit of a chop to it, but I'm not concerned about that in the least. The finish line along the edges here matches the uh, factory finish line, which you can see right here, which they also did with the router. You can see the marks. So I've got a little bit of a bump right there. I'll hit that with uh, some super fine sandpaper so I don't scuff it. But uh, it turned out great. So there we go. There's one one done. I will uh, clean this one up and then use this one as a template for the second uh, second piece that I need to make. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for the homework here. And we'll take it up to the boat, make sure they fit, and then we'll figure out hinges. And I've already got hardware for the doors, uh, but these are this is going to turn out real nice, I think. Okay, about uh, 15 minutes later, we have two identical pieces with the same angles matching up perfectly. So, so yeah, these are uh, these are ready to go up to the boat and get fit. The only thing that I might run into is if the top, because they are angled, they taper down this way. If the top is too wide to fit both doors side by side, I may have to come back and either lessen the taper or just make them square but either way we'll take them up to the boat this weekend fit these and uh see how it looks all right we're back up on the boat um gonna work on getting these cabinet covers put in place and i've already kind of set them up here just to see just to make sure they would fit but they do fit nicely right there um they match the lines and the other colors that we have going in the boat perfectly they are going to hinge up like this that's uh i think that's a really nice look so i need to uh get the hinges put in i haven't i waited to do the hinges till i got here just because i wanted to make sure a that i had enough space for this to fit with those tapered angles uh and uh i guess there is no b i don't even know if i said a but anyway <laughs> I'll get the uh, hinges installed and then uh, get the level out and get, it, get them measured and centered correctly. This should be a fairly easy thing to do. I also have a pull, kind of like a uh, hood stop on your car that will keep the door open. And I have the handle hardware. The only thing I don't have yet is either a magnet or a catch. Okay, I've got two hinges installed and now I need to this out. These just barely fit. See this uh, hinge over here runs right up against the, the ceiling, but I got oh, probably an eighth of an inch or so of clearance below. So that'll work just fine. So we need to find the center. What did I do with my tape measure? Find the center. I'm not using a level on this door because the, it's so close to the shelf here that I can see that it's even. All right, got my marks for the holes. And I'll erase this one. And I'll get my punch so I can punch through the vinyl. switch out I should just get my other drill it's sitting right over there so I don't have to, so I don't have to switch out bits and drivers but
All right, just like that. Obviously there's no catch, so there's a little bit of spring back here, but you get a catch put in there. And we have uh, nice new looking cabinet doors. Now this side is gonna be a little more difficult to do. I gotta get hinges drilled in place, so let me do that first and then I'll start the video back up when I install it. This door may not be as bad as I thought, just because um, I do have a line down here to go off of. I've got my centers already set. So all you really need to do is line up the cabinet with the center line, the center mark up here, and then get a decent eyeball on the line down here. And I think we're good to go. Cabinet number two installed. Two cabinets, no catches. We'll get some catches to pull those things down or to hold them closed. All right, I've got my holes marked and drilled for the handle hardware. Uh, it's standard four inch. Okay, back on the boats the next day. Um, I got kicked out um, as I was working on these uh, the cabinet doors last night. And I will uh, start out by admitting a mistake I made last night as, uh, as I was wrapping things up. The hardware has standard three inch spacing um, for the mounting posts. Unfortunately, here's how I measured them. I put the posts on the one and the four, just to make sure they were three inches apart. And then in my head, when I went to measure this out, you know what's coming. Four inches was in my head, so these holes are four inches apart. Obviously not gonna work. So, um, what I'm gonna do, and it's still gonna look fine, I think. Um, actually, it might be a nice little touch, but uh, I'm gonna take some aluminum rivets, drill these out to 3 16 put the rivets in, remeasure three inches off center, on uh, center, uh, this time, and then we'll get the hardware installed. I also went to the store this morning about some magnets for the closure of the doors, so we should be able to wrap this up here real quick. So, I'm gonna drill all 3 16 throw some rivets in, and then we'll put hardware on. got to find my other tip. This isn't big enough. All right, well, moving on. Uh, I'll do hardware in a little bit because I just broke my rivet puller. Um, the little uh, teeth, the jaws mechanism inside just, just gave way. It's an old puller. So I tried to pull the first rivet and it stripped out, took it apart, and the teeth are just not worth anything anymore. So I'm going to have to run to the store to buy a new puller. So uh, in the meantime, let's, uh, I'm going to work on getting the magnets installed. Pretty simple. Got a uh, double magnet here and two plates that'll get installed. So the plates will get installed on the door and then the magnet will be installed right here. Um, I don't think there's really any reason to video that. So I'll get that installed and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, I've got the uh, magnet catches installed. So now we have two, they're pretty strong. Nicely closing doors. If you're wondering how I was able to figure out where to put the um, the striker here, um, I measured side to side from here to the center of the magnet and from over here to the center of the magnet to get the, the center line and then from here up to the top of the magnet to transfer that to the outside of this um, piece of starboard and then I used a lined piece of paper very technical here <laughs> and 
lined up the mark with the paper and then used the line of the paper to line up with the, um, the routed edge here. Held that in place and just transferred the transferred the vertical line inside and then measured from the bottom of the piece of starboard up to uh, where the striker was supposed to be rounded. So that's how I did that. And um, at lunchtime, I'm going to run and get a new rivet puller. I'll get the rivets put in, and then um, after I get the rivets put in, I will drill the holes to get the hardware installed, and we'll wrap this project up. All right, new rivet puller. Let's get the uh, rivet set, and then we'll put the hardware on. Wrap this thing up. Okay. Rivets pulled. Time for hardware. New cabinets, or new cabinet doors. So the the support rod is, it, it arrived, it's at home. Uh, so this is a, uh, basically a hood support. Um, I think for a Toyota or something like that. So what I need to do is just basically figure out how I'm going to mount this so that the door stays open. And I just gotta figure out the right uh, right spot to mount it so that when it swings, so when the thing is when the door is closed, it's uh, it closes okay, and uh, just make sure that it's not in the way. So how are we going to do this? Okay, so I got the uh, the hood hood support pole post rod whatever you want to call it um, in place here I just put one screw in up here uh, loosely and if you lift up on the cabinet the whole thing swivels and then um, I got to figure out a way to clip it up here still the clip that I was going to use uh, just it probably would have worked but it's just a little bit too snug so I'm gonna have to find a, a clip that has a little bit bigger diameter but I'll put it right up in here and then that way the door will still close and clear the, the opening here. So it'll clip, clip right there. And then when you want to keep it open, swing it down, just drop it right in there. That's all there is to it. That looks way better than what was there before. And I'm super happy with this. So Thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Butter channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and send me some comments if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time on the Wisco Butter channel. Happy boating, everybody.